with some inspiring words of wisdom. I don't know how I top. Uh, I thought you were a science major, not an English major. <laughs> <laughs> you've uh, you've uh, impressed all of us. Uh, Amy? Yeah? Let me start off by thanking you for being a fabulous leader of uh, the science camp this time and coming up with great activities for us for this week. And Nick, likewise, you and the team here at Camp T have been fabulous support. Uh, Gwen, thank you for all the great work that you're doing and leading um, Opportunities Unlimited for the Blind. What we're, uh, what we're trying to do, I've had, I have friends, believe it or not, I do have some. Um, <laughs> I have friends who say to me that the first blind astronaut has been born. I think I told you that last year. And yeah. I don't know why it couldn't be any one of you um, in this camp. Any one of you could be the next, the first blind astronaut. Somebody asked me yesterday, are you sure that there are going to be astronauts? Yes, there are going to be astronauts. We're going to be going to Mars. We're going to be going, going all over the solar system. Someday, hopefully, we'll be going on beyond that. We're going to be mining asteroids. We're going to be uh, building space stations. We're going to be building bases on the moon, bases on Mars. And we're going to be expanding just like humans have always done. And there is no reason that any of you in this camp, in this group, can't be among those leaders who are developing this. I already, you met Terry Sapalo. Terry is a blind chemist. Um, he is a blind entrepreneur. He's a college professor. And he's only, what, 26 or 27 years old. There's nothing saying that any of you can't be just like Terry. Uh, we're gonna, you're gonna be able to meet lots and lots more blind people. I told you about the book Privileged Hands. I, encourage you all to get it from the library and read it about Gary Vermey. He won the um, MacArthur Genius Award uh, that's only given out to a few people each year. Comes with it a big cash prize. There's no reason any of you can't win that prize. It's, if you look at the, at the uh, medallion that we presented to you, it says think and arrows pointing around and there's an infinity circle an uh, infinity sign in the middle never stop thinking never stop asking keep doing it and doing it and doing it that is the way that Darwin tells us that, um, that the uh, natural environment works it continues to think up new things find out what happens and think up some more new things and find out what happens and keep going on and on that's what needs to happen for each of you. You need to challenge your teachers, challenge the adults around you, challenge your peers, and lead your peers. And talk to your friends, talk to everybody around you about science. Talk to each other about science and technology and engineering and math. And tell your teachers that you need to have more science, you need to have more math, you need to have more braille, you need to have more reading, you need to be able to compete with everybody else that there is in the world. So um, I'm really happy that all of you chose to come, talk it up to your blind friends for next year, and uh, uh, get, get as many people enthusiastic about <coughs> science as possible. I think science is one of the most exciting, interesting, fun uh, areas of study and thought. Um, it never ends. You never run out of things to think about when you're thinking about science. So I second that. Thank you. Har -har. Sure. So, uh, thank you Word. for coming. Please come back again Word. next year and, uh, and enjoy the rest of your summer, as short as it might be. We love you, Fred. Thank yeah. you, Ashley. Yeah. Love you too.